Hello, I'm Dr. Tanyal and in this video we'll cover all the questions that can arise from scrotal complaints. All patients will complain of scrotal swelling and scrotal pain, but you'll have to determine if it's pain predominant or swelling predominant. I mean if the patient complains of mild swelling but really bad pain then it's pain predominant. If he can bear mild to moderate pain it's called epididymitis and if the pain is literally killing him it's testicular torsion. We'll discuss each in detail but that's how you'll approach painful scrotal complaints. Mild is equal to epididymitis and severe is equal to testicular torsion. Now we come to the other side of the scrotal spectrum that is swelling predominant. Patient might have some sort of pain, that's fine, but his major concern is, oh my god, there is a bulge. Following diseases comes with scrotal swelling, hydrocele, varicocele, and testicular tumors. All of them have big swollen scrotums with some degree of pain. First pain predominant disease is epididymitis. More pain, less swelling. When you touch the scrotum, it's painful and tender. But the patient can definitely survive this. He can come to you, talk to you, to please treat him. Most commonly, epididymitis is due to a bacterial infection. Very painful, dramatic onset. There's fever with whiting symptoms like urethral discharge and burning pee and overall painful urination. All of this accompanied by mild scrotal swelling. Chlamydia means hidden, so look for those subtle signs. There won't be dramatic signs and little or no urinary irritative symptoms. Treat it with macrolides. One great clinical finding is friend sign. On elevation of testes, pain is reduced. In practice, you advise patients to wear underwear while his medicines kick in. Alright, now the severe painful type, testicular torsion. Extremely painful and it's kind of look like this. Normal testes along with the twisted one. On exam, they'll say that it is high riding testes along with the transverse axis. I don't know what that means, but that's how USMLE will tell you about the testicular torsion. Okay, so this nasty painful pathology occurs in young boys. In exam, one of the high yield clues is absent chromostatic reflex. Look for this chromostatic reflex. Other systemic findings are also present like nausea, vomiting, and fever. In summary, you can say that there's testicular pain, severe testicular pain, some swelling, and it feels like dying. We're done with two pain predominant types. Now let's cover the complaints with swelling. First of all, we have hydrocele, and hydro means water, so it's a collection of water. It's a congenital defect where processes vaginalis fails to fuse completely, therefore allowing fluids to accumulate. Clinically, you can shine light on the scrotum, and as Rihanna would say, shine bright like a diamond, <laughs> this is the defect which fails to fuse and you can see collection of fluid between the two layers. That's hydrocele for you. Now let's discuss 
Scrotal swelling problems that are quite common in adults, middle-aged men, varicocele. Its pathophysiology is increased venous pressure. The veins get dilated due to pooling of blood. The dull pain associated with varicocele versions with prolonged sessions of standing and it improves with lying flat. Also, they might feel back of worms, so that is quite characteristic finding of varicocele. So what's the whole deal of having varicocele? So what if one has varicocele? Problem is, testes are made up of seminiferous tubules and they are extremely sensitive to temperature. Warm venous blood interferes with their nourishment and consequently testes atrophies. So you can summarize by one word the complication of varicocele is testicular atrophy and yeah down the road it might lead to infertility. That's how varicocele looks like bag of worms in the scrotum. The final scrotal pathology with swelling is testicular tumor. It usually has no pain that is associated with it, just a swelling. It's seen in young men as a scrotal swelling and again it has no pain, just a swelling. As a doctor you might be tempted but you should never biopsy it since it can spread to other body parts through blood. Just confirm it with an ultrasound and take out the affected testes immediately. Please look at this summary in the end and hopefully by the end of this video you'll feel confident answering questions. Thank you.